All right. I have a word for you. And the word is, no one will take your spouse. Whatever belongs to you is yours. God has protected your spouse. Now, some of you may be going through uh, issues like divorce, uh, relationships that are stagnant, uh, things that are not working out in your life. And there are some of you who are, are still seeking for a spouse. And it seems as though that uh, you have been in this situation for a very long time and you are just waiting on the Lord. But that which the Lord has kept for you, no one will touch. It does not matter who comes up against you. It does not matter how much money they have. It does not matter how much influence they have or how good looking they may be. No one will take your spouse because the Lord has already sanctified you. Now, I want to bring to you a scripture uh, which is in Genesis 20 uh, that talks of uh, a man of God by the names of Abraham. And Abraham, of course, uh, was in a land and uh, he was with Abimelech. Abimelech was a king of another land. And Abraham, of course, for those that do not know, his wife was Sarah. And he was afraid to tell Abimelech that his wife is Sarah. So he went ahead and and told uh, Abimelech that Sarah is his sister. Now, let me read to you the scripture because it's so interesting that uh, there's a lot that is going on in the scripture that uh, God wants to show you. Now, from verse 20, that's Genesis 20, it reads, And Abraham journeyed from there to the south and dwelled between Kadesh and Shu and stayed in Gera. Now Abraham said to Sarah, his wife, she is my sister. And Abimelech, king of Gera, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Indeed, you are a dead man because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech had not come near her and said, Lord, will you slay a righteous nation also? Did he not say to me, she is my sister? And she, even she herself said, he is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and innocence of my hands, I have done this. And God said to him in a dream, yes, I know that you did this in the integrity of your heart, for I also withheld you from sinning against me. Therefore, I did not tell you, I did not let you touch her. Now, therefore, restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he will pray for you, and you shall live. But if you do not restore her, know that you shall surely die and all who are yours. Now God visits Abimelech king, the king Abimelech in a dream and tells her. Now for those that are, um, uh, are still wondering, I talked about ways God speaks to people and I actually even made a live stream of how to hear God's voice. In fact, it is how to recognize the voice of God because a lot of people hear the voice of God. Even non-believers can hear the voice of God. Look at this king, Abimelech. He heard the voice of God. The king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, a non-believer, a heathen, he heard the voice of God in a dream. So God speaks in dreams so you need to take uh, you need to be careful of the dreams that you hear so the the lord visits uh, abimelech in a dream and instructs her he tells her that the wife the woman that you have taken belongs to another man he belongs to a prophet he belongs to a man of god 
and the Lord instructs. Listen, Abimelech was able to recognize God's voice, which a lot of people do not have the ability. They can hear God, but they cannot recognize him. That's why you see uh, God speaks to them, may, may probably have sent to them instructions through dreams, but then they cannot recognize. That's why you, you hear a lot of people say, God speak to me. And yet God has already spoken to you through a dream. He wants you to recognize his voice. But this man, who was not even a believer, he, he was able to recognize God's voice. And he said, Lord, I did not touch her. So God tells her to restore the wife. There are a lot of things that have stolen your spouse. There are a lot of conditions, a lot of storms of life. It could have been finances. And finances, just because of your financial condition, just because of your health status, just because of a certain behavior that you portray, it has robbed you of your spouse. Some of you cannot get married because of certain things. And those things have robbed you of getting married. Of you, and, and, and some of you are facing divorce. But the God is speaking to that thing to return back your wife, to return back your spouse, your husband. And, and God told Abimelech, king, and he told him that if you do not return her back, you will surely die. It is amazing that God will fight for you, that your enemies will be disappointed. Those that have robbed you, that condition that has robbed you of getting your spouse, it will surely die. It will surely wither. Whether it's a health condition that has been limiting you, you have been at a point of limitation, you have been in a waiting list, and it's, uh, whether it's a financial condition, that thing, that condition will surely die. Some of you are about to step into uh, dimensions that uh, you had never thought of. God is about to lift you up. You are getting married, brothers and sisters. So uh, what you can do is to stand on the promises of God. Just as Abraham stood on the promises of God. Because he knew that his wife would never be touched. He knew that his wife was protected. He knew that God was fighting for him. God is fighting for you, the unseen battles. I would I like you to share this video with somebody else because somebody needs to hear this message. There is somebody who has given up on life. There is somebody whose condition has made him or her give up. Maybe you have been disappointed in life. You have gone through a lot of relationships and they have come to uh, a dead end. There has not be, it has not been successful. But God is about to restore to you your spouse. God is about to restore to you the right person. Well, I'm running out of time, but I've not run out of good news. Like this video, share this video with somebody else, let them know of this good news. Introduce somebody to this good news and God will surely bless you and until next time peace